hello everyone and good morning i am meha from kg college of arts and science and our motto is to assist blind people using voice recognition by using this voice recognition they can do their exam without any dependency an agenda statement solution project flow workflow benefits problem statement assisting blind people fill google form using voice to text and text to voice methodology upon clicking particular keys on the keyboard questions will be deducted and answer will be automatically selected by the concept of the speech synthesis and uh, proposed a solution voice recognition is will be a key of key part of future communication a speech recognition system overcomes the barrier by translating speech to text there is no relay to uh, there is no relay to another persons to do their exam and project flow uh, the system is manually used for blind and visually impaired people who can attend the exam independently and handicapper who is not able to write the exam physically they can also use this also that it can be captured a speech much faster than we can type first the user and blind candidate are there and the candidate using microphone and the speech in uh, speech input is automatically based uh, automatically based and the web application is automatically opened the speech synthesis is automatic uh, based speech based on the voice recognition the answer will be selected and uh, and the output at, and at last the output will be saved in the users database and our workflow in ui path first uh, first i drop sequence which is used to perform small level of project it also allows to perform one activity to another next i will drop open browser to launch our website to entering into a google form then we used text to speech package it to convert automatic speech uh, recognition package and in that package we have used four arguments rate text voice and volume next we use python scope which allows a python script to be invoked and executed in python we have used two packages speech recognition and pyaudio package to get the input from the user then type into is used to indicate a particular field and we can pass the string uh, string variable and at last benefits and technology used the portal would provide many possibilities for the uh, visually impaired humans for the dynamic and interactive educations with the help of the system any reader comes closer to the rf id tag then it sends audio message thanks to the modern technology people with vision loss can do numerous things allow those of us with no visions to use computer cell phones and other electronic device independently google form is successfully opened what is your name mega What is your college name? KG College of Arts and Science. What is your department? BSc Information Technology. RPA stands for Robotic Process Automation. The top most layer in layer design of RPA is dash. Process. Dash provides instructions to robot. Robotic controller. RPA is similar to old technologies such as screen scraping or macros. Say yes or no. Yes.
Dash provides open platform for automation. UiPath. Your form is successfully submitted. Thanks for your response. So that's all about my projects. Wonderful presentation, Mega. You know, this is what I love about you guys. Now, you you were well prepared to present. That's that's the best part about it. Thank so you. before before I I have a lot to speak about, but before I do that, you know. Uh, I would let the judges ask their questions or if they have any feedbacks first, and then I will come back because I can go on, go on, go on, right? Okay, Lairu and uh, Anmol. Hi, Mega. Hello, ma'am. Okay. okay, so in scenarios when you do not know the answer to a particular question, yes, what happens? Uh, it will automatically move to next question, ma'am. How long will it wait before moving on to the next question? It uh, takes uh, 10 seconds, ma'am, and we can extend the time also, ma'am. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah. Thank you, Mega, for that nice presentation. It looks good. And sorry for the text message. I was supposed to send it to a different chat. <laughs> um, so I just have one question regarding the... Um, the speech to text one um what tool are you using to do that uh speech recognition sir you are asking yes uh we have used a python sir, for that and we have in invoked in ui path sir okay cool and uh okay cool Got it. Yes. that's nice okay thank you Lairu. thank you Anmol. before do you have any questions for uh, for the team here. Uh, not really, just wanted to check in case if uh, can this can also be created in any other language? Uh, in regional language? No, sir. Only, okay. uh, you're asking only we can, uh, you. Yeah, yeah, exactly the same question, whether it can only understand English or some other language uh, as well. It can only understand English, sir. As of now. Yes, sir. Uh, is there a possibility to include other languages? Sir, that we have to try and I will update and I will say you, sir. Perfect. Perfect. Any Perfect. other Anyway, great presentation and thank you. Best wishes. Thank you so much, Vivor, for that question. Anyone else have any questions for, for the team here? Yeah. Come on, Mika. <clears throat> Can I will go ahead, please? Oh, oh yeah. thank you. Thanks, Abish. Yeah. So, Mika, you trained the uh, bot or let's say the bot over here to understand what content a person would be speaking in because definitely when I give an answer or my language or my my pronunciation would be different how the other person would be speaking. Did you train the bot for that? No sir, it'll, uh, if we say whatever, if, it, if we say it'll uh, automatically type it sir. Okay, so let's say if I type, if I say something uh, how much accuracy the, the the words that the bot types are they hundred percent accurate? What you are saying? Oh, yes, it's hundred percent accurate, sir. Okay. So, Mega, I'll, I'll connect with you separately. I am connected to one of the blind school, uh, okay. and I think I can take this sort of use case over there. That would be really helpful for those people. Okay. I'll, I'll connect with you separately. Sure, sir. Uh, Thank you. Well, yes, Satish. Uh, one more feedback, you know, uh, about the problems that we can, you know, uh, solve using some of the, you know, good technologies like you are using Python, you know, audio text to speech. So you can use AWS Poly. AWS Poly is a really, really great tool that can understand different kinds of languages, provide you AI conversational capability. So you don't need to speak accurately. It can understand in a, you know, in a different terms. So if you face an issue, you can reach out to me. I'll help you how you can include AWS Poly in your workflow. So thank you, sir. I'll yeah. try it, sir. Perfect. Thank you so much, Satish, Rahul, Vivor, and everyone for this. Now, make a few feedback from my side. Yes, like, sir. I'm not a person who gives normally technical feedback, but let me give you this. You know, your presentation was awesome. Your thank use case you, is awesome. The thing is, whatever the robot heard, 
if you give a follow back, I hear this, did you mean this or not, right? Then the accuracy may be better because sometimes the person, if I, if I envision a, a you know, visually impaired person, whatever I speak, robot is entering, but I don't know if the robot understood what I said or not. A feedback would be a, a very, very good addition in this use case. Plus, I would say when you design this type of things, right? As of now, you have all uh, fill in the blanks. Yes, sir. What about objectives like yes, no, option A, option B, option C, you know, try those out, try those out. So that gives an extra layer of uh, confidence in, in the technology to, to other people as oh, well, sir. right? That means that- For exam, they will uh, give yes or no types question and true or false only questions only, no, sir. Next time I will try that also, sir. Perfect. That, that, that being said, awesome presentation, awesome use case, Mega. Thank you. All the best. And I hope you win. Uh, stay back for the rest of the presentation. Thank you, Mega. Thank you so much, sir.